Welcome to Barkhouse Nature Bites. Today we're talking about this critter, a blue spotted salamander, one of the seven salamander species we have here in Wisconsin. So a salamander, really cool amphibians for sure. The word salamander is actually a Greek word which means fire lizard and I'm sure you're probably thinking well that makes sense salamanders fire lizards doesn't make a lot of sense. Well in theory maybe is that Salamanders do like to live in logs, rotting logs out in the forest floor. So let's say there's a fire and you threw some logs in that fire, well salamanders could come crawling out and maybe that's how that started. They actually thought that salamanders came from fire at one point. So obviously it's not quite the case. They do like those damp areas, those wooded areas, especially by wetlands. They live in a leaf litter in the forest floor. Um, and these salamanders, they're going to be, actually blue spot salamanders return to the same vernal ponds, so temporary ponds, ephemeral wetlands, so wetlands that do dry up later in the year. They're going to return to the same vernal ponds every year to breed, and that's going to happen in the springtime. The females will lay eh, like two to five hundred eggs, give or take a hundred or so, and the eggs will stay in that pond and eventually hatch, and then the adult, or the grown up, kind of grown up salamanders will crawl out the pond after about two to three months. In that pond, those young salamanders are going to be eating pretty much anything they get their mouths on, like zooplankton, little aquatic invertebrates, little aquatic bugs and stuff, just like that. When they grow up, they're going to be eating worms, crunchy bugs, anything they get their mouths on pretty much on the forest floor. This includes mosquitoes, so I don't know if you can tell, there are a few mosquitoes out right now, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, mosquitoes are flying, how is a salamander going to go up and get a mosquito? Well, if you ever walk through the woods and you kicked up those mosquitoes coming off the forest floor, through grasses, well, mosquitoes are going to be hanging out in the forest floor, especially at night, and that's when these salamanders are more active at night. So they actually do eat quite a bit of mosquitoes, and I hope this particular salamander starts eating some mosquitoes right now because it's already starting to get pretty bad. So you can tell they're pretty active. They'll crawl around pretty good. You just don't notice them very much because, again, they're out nocturnal. They do bur burrow in a leaf litter and underneath logs. Um, there's a couple of really cool adaptations that salamanders will have. One, let's say a predator is trying to get after them. Well, they can wiggle that tail and distract the predator, and they can actually get off this uh, really kind of sticky substance out of their tail, which is not really good tasting the predator's mouth. It's kind of sticky even, so that kind of helps distract the predator. They can actually lose a limb or a tail, so if a predator grabs that, they can lose that, and they can eventually actually regrow that limb or tail. So they are capable of doing that. They're different to like a daddy long legs, a harvestman, if you remember that one, where they'll lose a limb, can't grow it back. But for a salamander, if they lose a limb or a tail, they can grow that back. And that's a defense thing to have for predators. So, again, these um, blue spot salamanders are going to be eating all sorts of things. They're an indicator species. So what I mean by that is that if they're around, that indicates you probably have a healthy environment. They have very thin, semi-permeable skin, so water can easily pass back and forth through their skin. So that means that there's pollution in the area, they're not going to be around. So if you have salamanders, probably is a good indication that there's not a lot of pollution. It's so definitely a good thing for sure. So, blue spot salamanders, this one's getting ready to crawl out about. I think he's getting ready to eat some of these mosquitoes out here. Hope you enjoy this episode of Barkhouse Nature Bites.